Hello, this is Dartfish Dave, and I want to welcome you to a Dartfish Express video analysis tutorial. I said I would try to get one of these tutorials out on how to do a side-by-side -side analysis using Dartfish Express. So this is the app. If you are not aware of it, you can get that on the, uh, the App Store, Dartfish Express. I have it on my iPad, so I'm going to go ahead and open it right now. It is, I believe, um, $4.99. So once you open up Dartfish Express, you will see a couple of clips that I've imported into the program. And one of the things that I think a lot of folks struggle with is how to get videos onto their iPad, and that'll be a separate sort of uh, tutorial. But there's screen capture software that you can use to go online and capture a single stroke of, of any sport, and then uh, you can email it to yourself, and then from there import it into your library. And then from your library, you can add it to Dartfish Express. So what I'm going to do quickly is just go to my email, and I will see that I have sent myself an email with a video of Tiger Swing. So I'm going to tap on it, and I can see the video is, is playing, or will, would play. In the top right-hand corner, I can click on the box with an arrow out and hit Save Video. All right. So once I do that, now the video is going to go to my video uh, library or my, actually if I go to camera and I click on the bottom right here, I can see that that video has been added to my camera roll. So once you email it to yourself, you long tap on the video to download it and then uh, you save it to your photo library and then from there you can actually bring it into into the program. So now that we're back in Dartfish Express, I can add the video to do my side-by-side. -side. I'm going to do a side-by-side -side with Roy McElroy and Tiger Woods. So I'm going to click the plus and then go to the camera roll and here's the same video I saw. I'm going to go ahead and click on that and then click use. So it's going to import the video in and now I have Tiger's video. Uh, the three videos I've added, Tiger, Jack, and Rory. So I'm going to tap on Tiger, and now I'm going to start the side-by-side -side process. And in the upper right-hand corner, right next to the little eye in a circle, you see two windows next to each other. So I'm going to tap that, and you can see that Tiger slides to the side. Click Select. And now I will tap on Today. I've imported the video of Rory McIlroy, and then you see the two videos pop up side-by-side. -side. So because of the way this the screen is set up right now the first thing I want to do is I'll be able to see the ball contact so I'm going to pinch my fingers together on Rory first and slide him up just a little bit so I can see the ball I can also slide him left or right if I touch the screen a couple times I will get little green markers which I can erase so again I want to center him in the screen and get him an address I'm going to do the same thing with Tiger Woods I want to be able to see the ball and I want to move him maybe slightly to, to the left. Again, if you if it any of the drawing tools pop up, you can hit the little page with the corner missing out of it, and that tool will, will disappear. So it's important that the videos that you're trying to use are filmed maybe at the same frame rate. Um, these should be approximately the same because I got them from the same website. Um, but if they were different, like the one I tried with Jack just didn't work because the frame rate wasn't even close to being the same. So before we hit the little lock button to, to perform the side-by-side, -side, we don't really want to use a dress since that's going to be a different time period from when they both um, take the club back. But we're going to try to get the club as close to contact as possible. So right now I'm taking the small jog wheel on the bottom right next to Rory and I'm rolling it forward till that's probably as close to contact as we can get. The ball's a few inches off the club face. Um, the club seems to be right at the tee. So now I'm going to roll the little wheel below Tiger to the right. Again, you will see him move. And one function I wish that Dart, Dartfish would um, add would be some sort of frame advance button because it's sometimes a little difficult to get the jog wheel to be exactly in the same place. So right now, I would say that that's close enough for a side-by-side -side comparison. 
we could uh, open up Rory a little bit more to make it exactly where we want these to both to be the same. And now we're going to tap the little lock button that's right in the middle. Once you tap that, now the swing should both move together at approximately the same pace. And this is really where now we can start to do some analysis. I'm going to actually have my good friend Tom Gullickson um, do a little analysis work with me on these swings because I know that he's a fantastic golfer. But this is just to get you started on how to actually get the side-by-side -side set up. So you can reposition the players to make sure you can see the club the whole time. And again, if you roll in one direction further, now as I... You can see that the videos are nearly perfectly synced, but much easier than um, trying to use video at a different frame rate. So now we can see the swing going up to the top. We'd want to move Rory over just a little bit so that we can see the top of his swing. You can see that Rory gets a little bit further along, but fairly similar positions between the two golfers, a lot closer than Rory would be to, uh, to Jack. So once we're at least ready to save our side-by-side -side. we can go up to the upper left hand corner and click on the word done and say yes I would like to save this comparison so now if I go to the upper left hand corner where I see the little windows I'm going to see my video at the top it says 10 12 p.m. October 27th if I tap on that now my side-by-side -side is stored again the um, videos will actually move in and out together and now I can get into doing a little bit more with using drawing tools and doing my actual analysis and that'll be the second part of this tutorial is to bring my good friend uh, Tom Gullickson in and ask him some input on what he sees in terms of the differences uh, of these fine champions. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial, how to make a side-by-side -side video. I will um, actually get in here and, and in the second part of the tutorial do a little work with creating some drawing tools and show you how to input uh, still shots and so forth. Thanks.